Connect and Grow Rich by Natalia DeCuin. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and put you like. Thank you. Chapter 1. The Life of Your Dreams. My Story. If someone had told me six years ago that I would live in London, started traveling around the world, talked from the stages, conducted training courses, advised people on business and written books, I simply wouldn't have believed it. After all, now my life is this and each of these wonderful changes, they started with a decision I made after talking to my friend Emmanuel, but let me tell you a little more. My life has now changed drastically, but it all started six years ago. During those years, I lived in Italy and worked in a company as a sales manager, but I was always looking for something that could improve my life, the life of my son and my family. I was born in Russia to a good family. My mother was a teacher and my father an artist, he was the director of a youth theater. He was writing poetry and songs, so my sister and I studied at a music school. At the end of my studies at the high school I started teaching music to children. A few years later, I moved to St. Petersburg where, after completing my university studies, I became a tourism manager. I wanted to discover Europe, therefore, I had settled in northern Italy where I worked in the tourism sector. I then became manager of a company that works with Eastern Europe, but at that time everything else in my life was difficult. I separated from my husband and found myself raising my son alone. My mom helped me and, I am and will always be very grateful but, it was still very difficult for me. The situation and financial stability of myself and my family worried me. Everything was influenced by the situation I was living, and I had too little time to be with my son. I had constantly go to numerous fairs, visit clients and I was often traveling. I was very tired and constantly worried. If I had not gone to work for any reason, my family would have been short of livelihood in a short time. I dreamed of traveling for pleasure, I wanted my son to study in the most prestigious universities and I wanted to help my family. When my good friend Emmanuel called me one day, telling me he wanted to talk to me about a possibility that would improve my life, I immediately became curious. He told me he would tell me about a new company that sold health products. I have always been interested in the health and care of my person, so I always try to be as presentable as possible. I liked his proposal and decided to try the products. He told me that if I liked the products, I could also make money through them. Initially I was very skeptical because I had already been offered something similar once, but I hadn't earned anything but this time I decided to accept and start anyway. I really liked the products. They made me feel good. The phrase that my friend had said about the fact that I could earn on and even become a financially free person came back to me constantly without giving me peace. And then I decided to ask him what he had in mind. Emmanuel replied, This is a long story. And invited me to pay him a visit. The life of your dreams. We sat with Emmanuel around the table in his garden, the sun warmed us gently, we started to talk, and he started asking me several questions. How would you like your life to be? Where would you live? With whom? Would you like to live in the city? In the countryside? By the sea? In an exotic country? What would you like to do? If you had all the money and all the time, what would you do? What would your day be like? What time would you wake up? What would you do next? What would you eat for breakfast? Who would you do it with? What would your car be like? Or would you like to fly a helicopter? I started laughing. A helicopter? I asked in amazement. What would you do during the day? Would you read a book? Would you eat with friends or with your family? What would your days be like? Where would you go on vacation? He continued to ask. I never wondered before how I imagined my ideal life. Why are you asking me all these questions? Because if you don't know where to go, how do you get there? It's true, I thought. I paused to think about it. 
I looked around and saw Emmanuel's beautiful house and thought that he probably lived the life of his dreams. He was very serene, he was in no hurry, no stress. There were few people I had seen so serene in my life. Emmanuel explained to me that before going somewhere, you must have a goal. It's like going on vacation. First, we decide where we want to go. Then we start looking for a hotel or a home. Then we choose the means of transport and start planning our journey to get everything ready and know everything before arriving. It was precisely for this reason that Emmanuel asked me to describe how I wanted my life. He told me. When you go home, take a nice notebook and start writing all your dreams, write the answers to the questions I asked you, but don't think too much, write the first thing that comes to mind. Write also how much you would like to earn per month and year. How would you like your family to be, where would you like to go on vacation? What kind of relationships do you have with your loved ones? Write for several days. When you see that some things will be repeated day after day, it will mean that those will be your true desires. Focus on your potential and on everything that gives value to your person, and you will see that in this way you can design the life of your dreams. Then I interrupted him and with mild disappointment and a tone of protest asked. I work hard all day, but I barely managed to pay all the bills and set aside some money for my son's studies. How do I get to have the life of my dreams? We will talk about this next time, dear Natalia. I like to ask people this question, how do you see your ideal life, when I speak on the stage to my courses or when I do a coaching section for someone? It is important to see the goal. For this reason, dear friends, I ask you to leave the book now, take a half of an hour and write how you imagine the life of your dreams. Take a notebook right away, set the timer on your watch for 30 minutes and start describing the life of your dreams. How to become financially independent. I returned to Emmanuel after a few days, I had a notebook with me full of notes. During those days I wrote all my dreams, ideas in my mind, as I wanted my life to be. I described my ideal home, my future family, I also described the university where I dreamed my son studied. I described the car I wanted, how I would spend the time. I wrote that I wanted to travel and visit distant countries like Thailand, Maldives, Philippines, America, and a thousand others. I began to see my future and my ideal life clearer, but together with all this I started to have even more questions and concerns. I asked Emmanuel. But how do I get the life of my dreams? Although I work so hard and live a normal life, I can't call it the life of my dreams. If I didn't work, I wouldn't even be able to pay the bills and in that case, it certainly wouldn't be the wonderful and comfortable life that I would like. What should I do? You did your homework well and you also asked good questions. I like the people who ask the questions. Do you know what the difference between an economically poor person and a wealthy person? Of course, the poor person does not have the money and the wealthy person has them. Yes, that's partly true, but the biggest difference is in the way they face the world and see the gains. The poor or average person works for the gain, go to work and paid by the hour or for the results in the case of professionals such as doctor, architect, or lawyer. But although these people make good money, if they didn't go to work every day, they wouldn't earn anything right. Yes, that's right. And what do wealthy, rich people do? They work for the revenue or residual income. They make sure they still make money while not going to work. It would be really nice. But how do they do it? There are so many ways to create the residual income. For example, you can inherit a large sum of money from a relative, invest this money in the bank and live with interest. But I don't have rich relatives, I said with disappointment. I neither had any, and there are very few people in this world who can become wealthy like this. You could even marry a rich person. I shook my head. The rich people I know are all already married. You could write a song or a book that would become a bestseller and live off royalties. It's true. I studied music, but it's hard for me to be able to write a hit. You could also buy real estate, 
rented and live on income. But I need a big capital. And I don't have it, I replied. This is a problem in every way, for the average normal person, there is no possibility of creating an income, a passive gain, except one. Emmanuel began in a mysterious way and paused. What is this way? Please tell me I insisted. It's called network marketing. Why is network marketing the great possibility of creating personal well-being? Why are you so sure? Because I know it. Because I started a new network marketing many years ago. I am a very simple person. I was a simple clerk while now. I live in my villa. I earn a lot of money. I have helped many people. I have traveled much of the world. My children study abroad. I have a good life and now I can say that I have a residual gain. And I can explain you, because everyone can change their life for the better knowing network marketing and starting to work in this industry. First, the products of network marketing or the services offered by a company are very effective. Usually, no sales experience is required to become a business partner. And how does a person who doesn't make the salesman have success if the products are not good? For this, a person must start using the products and love them and then learn this activity. Another reason why network marketing is a unique opportunity, because it is within everyone's reach. Everyone can afford to start a business like this. Usually, all companies allow a person with a few tens or hundreds of euros, dollars or pounds to start their own business. Let's look at the traditional business world. For example, do you want to open a bar? How much does it cost you to open it? You need a license. You need to find a space. Do the works. Buy the equipment. How much does it cost you? Surely, you've already exceeded 10,000 euros, pounds, or dollars. Also add the costs of products like coffee, confectionery, and all the other things you sell. Add the cost of the staff, at the cost of advertising, it means that to start a small business, you need considerable capital. In network marketing you can start from 50, 100, 200 up to 1000 euros or pound in startup costs. The third and very important thing is that your activity in network marketing is only to share information on products or opportunity. The company will take care of personnel, logistics, customer relations, the opening of new offices and markets, the production of goods and warehousing. This means that you need to learn a few skills. And in these to become a master. Another very important thing is that you can start your business simply during the free hours of the day or the week. You don't have to leave your current job or business. You don't have to upset your life. Through network marketing you can earn extra money, create a small income and you can really build an empire. I'll give you an example. Even if you have little time and full-time job, do you have some time to devote to your future? Yes, of course. Well, how much time do you have? An hour a day, I said. Zero K. Suppose you start working with a company for an hour a day. Use the products. Find the first customers and the first collaborators. Even your business partners will probably have little time to devote to the new business. Maybe even an hour a day. However, when you work alone, you do six hours a week. When you have two collaborators, your time is duplicated, and you have 18 hours a week, six of your plus six of the two collaborators. Imagine if they began to invite other people too. Your time would begin to multiply. Even if not all of them should be very active, there would be more and more people who would still add their time and efforts, creating their own profit and benefiting you. Our time is limited, however through your collaborators, you multiply the hours and the results. In a few months, if you are more active or, even if you continue to work an hour a day, the result will be 20, 100, 1000 hours a week. This is the secret of wealthy people, this is the secret of the passive income that everyone would like to have. Concluded Emmanuel. This speech completely fascinated me. A simple person like me, can start from scratch but, with so many other people, I can create a residual income, like the richest on the planet Earth do. This is really great. Network Marketing Myths There are many myths about network marketing that I want to reveal to you. Said Emmanuel. The first is that you must be a good salesman. The most important thing is that the person loves the product or service that his company offers. 
During these years, I met many people who were excellent salesmen, but they didn't last long. Who really wins is not the one who sells more but the one who involves more people to use and share products and opportunity. Indeed, being too good at selling sometimes does not help because if you have a business partner in your team that is not as good as you are in sales, he or she may think that the business is only for salespeople. If a person bases his activity only on sales and network marketing but does not devote the time to build a network of collaborators, train them, make them strong and independent, his career can end very soon. When a seller is tired of selling, he produces nothing, he gains nothing and becomes demotivated and at this point he gives up. If instead, a person uses the product or service, he gets a great result, he learns to present it effectively, he manages to sell the product without being the professional seller and he can find new business partners. This begins to create an indirect or residual income. Even if this person does not sell for a few days, he does not go into crisis because he still receives earnings and is motivated. Another very common myth is that to achieve success in network marketing, it is enough to invite two or three people. It is a wrong concept. Some companies allow you to make a career having two or three strong teams, however, these two or three people may not be right away. When someone arrives telling you that you must invite only two people, be alert because this person is not telling you the truth, he alarmed me. It may be that you find champions in the sector fast enough. However, it may also happen that we need more time and effort. Many people believe these false promises about inviting few people and immediately becoming millionaires but then, they were very disappointed. I propose you to see this process, as a children's coach does. What do you mean? A coach, when working with children, can say that a child has more potential or another more character, but no one can a priori say which of them will be the true champion who could one day win the Olympics. So, only by inviting so many people will you find your champions that together with you will go to victory. Inviting is not a difficult job and if you know this myth you will not fall into a trap. I remembered about a friend's story about when someone suggested her, and she became part of some company. The person who enrolled her assured her that it would only take her to find two people. I remember that he talked to a dozen people, including me, but none of them did much and his enthusiasm vanished. This is exactly what Manuel spoke of. Another myth about network marketing is based on the idea that companies pay if people become part of network marketing. This is not legal. For this reason, if someone were to propose you a network marketing activity where you earn because other people pay to enter and there are no goods, products, or services behind, stay away from this proposal. If you want to build a solid and lasting future in network marketing, you must choose a good foundation. At the base there must be an excellent product that will give results but, we'll talk better than this another time. Another very popular myth is that you have to have a lot of time and that you have to quit your job. As I explained to you before, you only need one hour a day or a few hours a week. If you work consistently and methodically using a system, you can achieve excellent results. It is only when your earnings in network marketing begin to exceed the earnings of the main job constantly, for at least six months, you can consider the idea of leaving your job if you don't like it. For this reason, the idea that you need a lot of time, or you have to leave your job to work in network marketing is a myth. When I went away from Emmanuel, I said to myself I decided to find my champions. I will invite as many people as needed. And I will find my champions among them. Everyone can do it. Emmanuel said, we are doing network marketing all the time. When we go to a good restaurant, when we read a good book or have seen a good movie, we share our enthusiasm and knowledge with friends. But we are not paid for this. Some companies that work in telephony use this principle. Do you remember, if you bring a friend, you will have 10 euro discount on the next bill. The gyms also use it now, if you bring a friend you have a month free subscription. The idea is beautiful only that the company does not pay us, it gives us little extra gifts. Furthermore, once this friend of ours has been brought, the company has earned a customer and extra money while we have earned it. Nothing concrete. This is not the case in network marketing. When you register as an affiliate of a company, 
You receive a personal code and every time you talk to someone, share your experience, your story and your friend becomes a customer or an affiliate, the company rewards you. And it does not end here, you are rewarded even when the thing is duplicated and when your friend brings other friends who in turn become customers or business partners of the company. It's a word of mouth that rewards you. Therefore network marketing is a natural thing, which we normally do every day, without being a salesman and without much effort. The end of the chapter 1. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and put you like at this video. You can also buy the book Connect and Grow Rich by Natalia Dikuin on Amazon. There are the paperback and the Kindle versions. You can find the links in the description below this video. Thank you for listening.